Julie Campbell with two peas in a bucket and welcome to another Finally Friday card tutorial. Today we'll be making a card that's also a gift all in one and the inspiration for that card came from this pattern paper. It's new from Cosmo Cricut. It's from their 23 collection and this is their 6x6 six six pad. I just wanted to show you some of the really fun patterns that are included in this pad. Um, one of the really neat designs is this vintage camera design on the mustard colored paper. I love these patterns. There's florals, there's pinks, there's um, kind of an orangish red color that's really fun. Grays with a slight pattern. So as you can see, this pattern paper is packed with really fun designs. I love the vintage, almost 1960s, 1970s feel to it. But the paper that I really love is this it's a book spine pattern paper and I'm going to be focusing my card based off of this print. So I went ahead and trimmed my pattern paper to size. I'm going to be um, creating an A2 size card and I machine stitched all around the border with light pink thread. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to go ahead and adhere this pattern paper onto our vanilla card base. So we'll just center this onto our card. I like adding a little bit of machine stitching because it just gives a very subtle design element to your projects. Okay, then you're going to also need another piece of vanilla cardstock. Um, this cardstock is about two inches wide by seven and a half, or I'm sorry, seven inches long. And um, I went ahead and scored right in the middle at three and a half inches. Another really neat thing that's part of the 23 collection from Cosmo um, are these element decks. And basically they are just packed with all kinds of different designs. They kind of have a ticket feel to them, but then they also have this circular cutout at the top, so it's um, you could use them for tags. But they have every um, every page is a different design, and it's just a really neat um, new product. So I'm going to be picking out a couple of these pages out of here. Okay, I've trimmed each of these ticket or tag pieces down um, just a little bit, about an inch off the top, just so that it will fit for the project that we're using. So what we're doing is we are creating a bookmark um, out of these pieces of paper and the piece of cardstock that we've cut and scored earlier. So as you can see, I placed um, one, one of the tickets on one side of the score line and then the other one on the other score line. Just leave a little bit of room at the top so that your bookmark can still fold. Okay, so we're wanting to use this bookmark as a design element. So it's gonna be placed on our card, something like this here. Um, and so in order to get it to stay, but also make it where it can be removed for use, we're going to just apply some magnets to both ends of this bookmark on the inside here. So I just have um, a little bit of this is adhesive back magnet sheets that you can get at any kind of craft store. But the adhesive isn't super strong, so I'm just going to adhere mine with hot glue so that I know that it's not going to pull off the project. try to, I want them, the magnets to line up. So I placed that on there so I could tell where it's going to magnetize and be in the correct spot here. So I'm just going to glue that down. I'm just going to test it here and make sure that that worked for us. That, that works nicely. Okay, so now we're going to dress this card up a little bit. 
I have some of these fun stickers. They're from Studio Calico, um, and they all have some type of book design or book element in them. We're going to be using this bicycle circular sticker. It's, um, it's a nice size, and I think it coordinates well with our project. So this it says this book belongs to, so that's going to work perfectly with our project here. I'm going to line that up there. Okay, and now we're going to um, add a little bit of more embellishments to our card. This, these are called lawn trimmings by Lawn Fawn, and it basically it's pieces of cord or twine. Um, that's It's a nice thick feel to it, and it comes in really neat designs, but this mustard color just happens to coordinate really nicely with our card. And I like how they're on these rolls, because you can just pull, they come right off, and you're not going to have the tangling issues that you might with other products. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of this to the top of our bookmark. Tie that in a bow here. And then I'm just going to trim the ends a bit. Another part of the 23 collection is this, um, it's called their Ready Set Chip Collection. And I'm going to be using this piece of a chipboard sticker it says for you on the bottom here and I love these they're just so simple to apply to your cards you just peel off the backing and place it where you like it and there you go it was a super simple project today but it's something I think that um, it's really fun for card makers because we love to give gifts, we love to make someone's day with a little project, and so this is a perfect gift for one of your friends that also really enjoys a good book. I hope you have a great Friday, and thanks for watching this card making tutorial.